Roberto Guillos. His professional fight record, 42 fights, 38 victories, 4 defeats, 28 wins, coming my way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from Berlin, Germany, the challenger, King Arthur Abraham! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out the blue corner, wearing the red trunks trimmed in white, officially weighed in at 76.2 kilos. His professional record, 49 fights, 46 victories with only three defeats and 26 wins by way of knockout. From Magdeburg, Germany, the WBO. Super middleweight champion of the world, Robert Stiglitz. And now for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to fight. Okay, you got your instructions. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. So the stage is set. The big rubber match. Stieglitz, the champion, the favorite. Abraham, the old champion. I have to say, when those uh, introductions were being made, he may be, uh, may be 34, Abraham. But he certainly facially physically looks every year of his age he's got a few miles on the clock now but can he roll back the pages for one more terrific performance Stieglitz just blitzed him last time out will he gamble will he try to do the same again well, it looks like he's gone he's come straight at Abraham again I thought the first in the, in the second fight when he did this I thought it, was, it wasn't a smart tackling but it worked and he's going for it again trying to keep Abraham on the back foot Andre Ward, Durrell, they're the three men other than Stieglitz who've beaten Abraham in this long career. And often he's had a struggle against fighters who are able to just jab and move. Stieglitz has kind of torn up that blueprint. He just blitzed him last time out. And the feeling is and the suspicion is in the opening stanza here that he might be trying to do the same again. Well, Abraham's never been the hardest fighter to hit, has he? <laughs> Good bit of football game though from Abraham Morgan making a making sneakers miss by miles. <laughs> Gennaro Rodriguez, very experienced referee. He'll I'm sure do a good job here tonight. A lot of support in this Magdeburg G Tech arena for Stieglitz. It's his home territory, Russian born, but now this is his city, this is his crowd. I think this is getting a little bit too close. He's so eager to get to get onto Abraham. But he wants to let go with that right hand, doesn't he? But he's just getting a little bit too close. He's a little bit too over eager. It was Abraham's left eye which swelled up so dramatically in the last fight. March last year, that was. It seemed like a year ago, doesn't yeah, it? Not all, really, does it? to fight in, in bursts, never, never one to fight three minutes of a round, he produces usually eye-catching flurries around about this stage of the round. Oh, good shot from Stieglitz. Two landed simultaneously and the more authoritative punch was the right hand of Stieglitz's. 
I just, oh, good right hand there from Abraham. I'm just surprised how many punches Stevens is taking going forward, though. He's taking too many, more than he did in the last fight. Just a little bit over eager, I feel. I think Abraham boxing quite well off the back foot. Well, Abraham up on his toes. With Abraham in the last fight, in the second fight. First time Abraham's ever really been injured in that way, at least that I can remember. Good jab there from Abraham. He looks sharp, doesn't he, tonight, the old fella? The old champion, I should say. <laughs> yeah. 34, he's hardly an old fella, is he? No, no, at all. Not by my standards, anyway. Landing with the jab there, Stegas trying to land with the left hook, but again, he's just too over eager, uh, Stegas. He's like he's almost forgotten about defensive work. I think he wants to make Abraham work for every minute of every round, something he's not used to doing. jab as he came in trying to force the pace and what you can certainly say at this stage is that Stieglitz has not been able to dominate these early stages as he did last time out no he's been a little bit crude hasn't he Stieglitz a little bit over anxious maybe just sort of wanting to go in there and wanting it just that wee bit too yeah, much possibly and Abraham keeping the cool head and I feel just for me at the moment in this round, just picking him off slightly. Again, Stieglitz missing a little bit embarrassingly with that big swing of the left hand. Oh, that's nice from Abraham. Look at the punch speed there. That's a flash of the Abraham. Oh, oh that's a good right hand. Cracking right hand. Nice little one-two there from Abraham. Right through the through the guard of Stieglitz. Well, good hand speed there from Abraham. Certainly something we've not seen for a while. Something that we spoke of earlier in the night, injection of pace, wasn't it, from Abraham? Just changing the tempo of the fight all of a sudden. Steve is just caught on a ways. Good jab again from Abraham. And using good footwork once more, and a little smile as much as to say, he thought I was a static fighter. Here's a little bit of something you weren't expecting. Stieglitz there, getting in with his own right hand. Yeah, good right hand there, wasn't there, from Stieglitz, catching Abraham on top of the head. Another interesting round. And Stieglitz not able to dominate as he did last year. No, that's a wrong thing. On a piece, and we go into the third, 12 round of the WBO super middleweight title at stake. You sense that the crowd is just waiting to burst into its own action in support of Stieglitz. If only he can put an attack together, and he's not really been able to find the target. No, he's, like I said, he's been a bit crude, over anxious, and he's just you know, reaching for the target. And obviously, you know, with his over eagerness to get close, he's getting too close. And that right hand's usually going over the top of the guard, and right, the, right around the back of the head there, and missing to the target altogether. And Abraham, which, which, which really we would call the brawler, he's becoming the boxer. Early stages, though, a fight which could have many a twist and a turn as it unfolds I just thought there was a, a likelihood this third one could go long and could really with both men in the latter stages being dragged right into the trenches it could become something pretty attritional yeah you would feel that but the first fight was quite that wasn't it we yeah, real yeah you know, two very very close fight back and forth Abraham again just able to slip the punch get inside and hold on and it's Stieglitz who gets the telling off and you hear referee Rodriguez saying clearly no more no more he's had his warning that's what Stieglitz is looking for he's looking for that right hand he's looking to slip the jab of Abraham and land with that right hand over the top 
Well, Abraham's aware of it, and Stieglitz hasn't, I don't think. Certainly may, may have got the odd one. No, he can't do that. <laughs> he's not been able to he's not been able to get through. Not with the right hands he wants. No, and Abraham just catching him a nice little left right there as, as Stieglitz rushed in. Abraham able to tie Stieglitz up. Now uh, that again punching on the break this time and uh, not for the first time. I think the referee's patience is being tested by Stieglitz. And he lands with a couple of shots there, Stieglitz. He's done all the forcing, but he's actually had no quality work, have he? And I just think he's. Well, he's, he's just he's cramping, he's, he's, he's crowding his own his own space, isn't he? He's too, too aggressive, isn't he? Too hyped up. Too wound up. Well, we saw uh, some of the pictures earlier on from the from the dressing room of Stieglitz, and he certainly looked really looked then really psyched up, and he was at that stage some 20 minutes, half an hour away from fight time. And there's Abraham showing that he's not going to be messed around. He's trying to demonstrate that he's a physically strong guy, and he will not be. But two, him, haven't he, Abraham? Stieglitz, they, their tactics to put the fight, make Abraham work for every minute, every round, which is. Not a bad tactic to have, but as you, you, the words you use, the over eager. That's what he is, Steve. It's and he's, uh, he's spoiling and, and smothering his own work. And because he's so intent on trying to trying to bully it, it, and make Abraham work, he's neglecting his defence coming forward and getting picked off. Zemps here in his corner. Steve that's being told to throw punches in flurries, really let them go, but he's winding up and trying to really load up on every punch, and it's, I don't think it's helping him at this stage. No telegraph in a couple of those big wide hooks there, wasn't he? And the jab from Abraham. Steve Litz coming in and suddenly trying to work inside, but Abraham sufficiently long in the teeth just to tie him up and stop anything meaningful happening when he gets there. Well, even though, you know, no one's winning the wrong, no, Abraham for me is not winning the wrong by a massive margin, but he's the more relaxed of the two, and that's what Stieglitz corner should have been telling him, just, you know, you've got to relax him, he's still come forward, still with, with intent, you've got to relax, he's too tense up, and you've seen it earlier on, Abraham threw a right hand, Stieglitz was half a second behind with that left up counter. All our leading super middleweights, I would bet, will be watching this right now, and forming their own opinions some of whom have been with Abraham or one of whom's been with Abraham and the others hoping that they will get the chance maybe somewhere down the line Abraham again was cute to that rather crude lunge from Stieglitz and caught him with a little right hand counter he looks so much sharper than he has done in his recent fights he's looked poor hasn't he let's, let's be honest disinterested yeah he's looked poor that's better from Stieglitz, got in with the right hand at last. Corner, incidentally, has done a decent job with that swelling above the left eye of Abraham. Been working away with the ice pack between rounds and doesn't seem to have noticeably worsened. It's good from Abraham. And again, good footwork there from Abraham. It's not, not something you'd say very often. Stieglitz just looking a bit disorganised. Too wound up, I think. Being at home, you know, sometimes having a massive crowd behind you can, can sometimes have the, ad, they have the adverse effect. You try to look a bit too hard to please the crowd. Well, he'll know he's the favourite. He's got the massive payday. He's the champion, and he'll also be more aware than anybody that at this stage, coming towards the end of the fourth round, as the heads go banging in again, that it's not going his way. No, for me again, it's another round for me that he's being outboxed. And with a good right hand there, though. How the judges see it, of course, we will see. A couple of Americans bitten all over his face last time out. It almost hurt Wegner as much as Abraham himself to have come out of that world title contest against Stieglitz losing so badly. Well, yeah, I know to get beat by an injury, that's the worst thing, isn't it? It really is. But it was all done by Stieglitz, and you know, to be honest, he was phenomenal that night. Hasn't quite worked for him. He tried the same sort of tactic, but for me, it hasn't quite worked out for him so far. Not yet. That's better. Two mm -hmm. right hands. One, two from Stieglitz. Much better when it was not stepping in too much. Give him a little bit of distance so you can get the, get the shots in. 
And straight away the mini eruption of applause from a passionate home crowd. Partizan crowd. Another good jab from Stieglitz. I just wonder as he comes charging in again whether he might not be well employed just to get back and work a bit more behind the jab and just just make it a bit more of a technical exercise for a while and get some composure. Well, what Stieglitz has to do is block the crowd out. He had a bit of success there, just a little bit more relaxed and the crowd got him hyped up again and now he's, again, he's smothering his own work. That's good, though, good work. One thing, we, one thing we've always said is about Stieglitz in the fights in which we've, we've watched him together, Barry, as well, is that he does have a, a terrific engine, doesn't he, to use oh, one he of the truisms. He will, keep, he will keep throwing punches for 12 rounds that he's there. Oh, he's as fit as you like, isn't he? You keep throwing all day. And, he, and he's got lots of good... He's, you know, he's got a lot of skill. He's a good fighter. He's a good all-round fighter. There's nothing exceptional, but everything good. Referee, I was just about to say, he needs to be having a word about the heads going in because Stieglitz is really going charging in. It's already caused one injury to Abraham, and you don't want to see another. Stieglitz almost landed with that right hand there, just slipping There's the, the jab. jab. There's the jab from Stieglitz. That's, of course, the reach advantage, clear reach advantage, Stieglitz. Go, 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 go. And he's not really been able to use it so far. Well, we're certainly having a better round. Not a classic, but it's fascinating, and it might still explode at any stage. It's that sort of a fight. That was better from Stieglitz, then, just previously, just, just a little faint before he came in. Well, I think that's the last warning. <laughs> was dragging him down and punching, wasn't he? Holding pulling him onto the punch close round this one and the old Abraham he's heard the thump on the ring the lasting but badly marked up not affecting his vision in any sense but testimony to the punches that Abraham has got through with in the first attack comes from Stieglitz in this now round six and it's Stieglitz trying to power on the pressure there's solid punches as well they are down the street one two trying to bully Abraham around Abraham just looking to cover up I think feeling he, the pace isn't he I think he felt that first right hand the very first one on the on the road to the to the right of the camera well Stieglitz has dominated the first part of this round. And Abraham, is he struggling to keep with him at this sort of pace, at this sort of intensity? Yeah. It. Lovely yeah. left hook. It was just because he did a little movement before he came in. He did just charge in this time. A little bit of a yeah, a little bit of a shinny with the, with the feet and the shoulders, just to just to shake it up. Just so Abraham didn't know where he was coming from. hand over the top Abraham really been able to detonate it so far and a complaint from Stieglitz that one caught him around the back of the head Abraham's jabbed well tonight there's the right hand which did get through oh now it's starting to open up this is what they paid their money to see good stuff in it both swinging both landing as well Ooh, Abraham trying to set him up there for the big right hand. He's missed. Didn't miss that one though. Good 
good finish of the round here from Arthur Abraham and after being under the cosh a little bit for the first two minutes. Jab from Abraham, solid left hand lead. A lot of uh, holding from both sides, both vastly experienced and no ever. Didn't try and put him in the back foot. Calf no, he, he, Calf watched it, well, boxed great, didn't he? But he went on the back foot himself. Yeah. So we're into the second half of the fight. Stieglitz starting round seven fast. Stieglitz, of course, in the red shorts. Current champion, the WBO super middleweight champion of the world. Abraham breathing heavy, but he always breathes heavy. He's just having to pace himself, a little nod of acknowledgement to somebody at ringside. As much as to say, yeah, I'm under a bit of pressure, but I know what I'm doing. This is going okay. Still very much in the mix of this fight. Oh, good left hook there from Abraham. And again. another. Again, Stieglitz just trying to bull forward there. Where's all the feints gone from the previous two rounds? A little shuffle of the feet. Right from word go, Barry. I just had that feeling tonight that, okay, Stieglitz might ultimately go on to win the fight, but Abraham's just looks that little bit looser, that little bit more relaxed. Stieglitz almost tense, almost just straining for it. That's better. Good right hand from Stieglitz. Again, the head's going close. Lovely from Abraham, in and out with that right hand. This has been a slicker. Arthur Abraham, hasn't it, this fight? Moves quite well. Show some good footwork. Yeah. Oh, Look at that lovely. again. Fancying it now. Two of them have landed heavy shots. There's another left hand from Abraham, which is serving him well in the seventh. Excellent from Abraham once more and Stieglitz all over the place as he holds on and tries to disrupt the rhythm of the challenger. I'm surprised Stieglitz can't see that left hook coming because it's not a fast shot, is it? Very long curbing shot almost, but Abraham hitting him every time. Well, he's got that damage to the right eye, but oh, it's a terrific shot from Abraham and an absolutely flush. That was no, that was well this guy. That looked like that was gonna be a long left hook. This has shown Abraham little flashes here in the seventh round of Abraham right at his best. Good round for the weekend, and I think that we are going to have a pretty fascinating and gripping five rounds because it certainly looks as though it could well go the distance. This I thought it was going to be a very one sided Stieglitz win. I, I'm really shocked and really impressed with uh, Abraham's boxing. Stieglitz with the crowd support that can uh, sometimes influence judges I always thought yeah of course of course because every time you land with a shot the crowd go crazy you have land with a shot the crowd still go crazy but Abraham has been hugely popular as well for many a year in Germany more in the Berlin area than uh, than here in Magdeburg but he's had a terrific career and has huge respect Good again, good. He's going looking for Stieglitz with that right hand and the greater accuracy and snap at this stage would appear to be in the work of Abraham. One round the back of the head. Stieglitz has corner man up onto the ring apron protesting. No point deduction. Zemski was not a happy boy. I've got to be honest, before that though, Stieglitz looked a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not saying he was hurt, but he didn't look quite right. Oh, he has taken a point. He's taken a point. You're ready. You're ready. 
giving him time. Are you ready? And away we go once more. Right decision, harsh decision. I, I, yeah, a little bit harsh, I feel, but. Abraham had been having a, a good spell. A really good run. Just taken the rhythm maybe out of his work and perhaps just what Stieglitz needs to come forcing his way back in the closing stages. Perhaps needed the deduction to level the round up. Stieglitz going in with his head. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I was going to say that Stieglitz that time with the head. Payback time. Sort of took the air out of uh, Abraham's tires a little bit, didn't it? At that point, nice right hand, short chopping right from Stieglitz, and the left hand as well. And Stieglitz getting the better of that exchange. Abraham trying to suck it up, trying to put the pressure on in the closing seconds of the round, but it was Stieglitz oh. who had. But, but with the, it's, yeah, so I would give that to. So it's a level round. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just, uh, just keeping my, uh, just keeping my score cut tally. No, no, it can be a level round if there's a point deduction. Yeah, but if Abraham's won the round, anyway, let's concentrate on this. It it's a round to Stieglitz, 10-9 to Stieglitz. I got it. Okay. That's a good solid shot from Abraham. Right hand to the body. So you've got the fight level at this stage. With four rounds to go. I think it's that sort of fight, isn't it? But for me, Abraham boxing the, the better of the two. Steve is doing most of the work. Ragged here. <laughs> Stieglitz, huge fighting willpower. He was tagged by a lovely right hand from Abraham as he came in. Lovely right hand, you're right. And again, the footwork of Abraham today has been really, really good. Now, what's he going to do with this? Oh, we're having a point off for it. Yep, point off for Stieglitz for holding. We can hear what the crowd make of that. <laughs> Can't say he's not been warned. And a good right hand left hook there from Arthur Abraham. Oh, left hook. Yeah, doubled up beautifully there. He, he, he can miss all night, can he, with that left hook? It served him well. That's been his quality punch. Better from Stieglitz, a little bit of bounce in his step. A few more feints he needs coming forward. Stop, stop, stop. It's been a disappointing performance for me from Stieglitz. He's trying to win it by just sheer willpower, by fitness and by brute force, rather than by anything sort of technical. Well, I think he, he tried to do the tactics of, of, of the second fight, and just go out there and try and you know, whirlwind his way into a win. Yeah, mug him, but... It hasn't worked sometimes. You can get stuck in a rhythm as a fighter. It's hard to get out of it. And I think he's he's been a victim of that tonight. And perhaps, perhaps just a little bit surprised as the shoulder this time rocks back Abraham's head. Perhaps just a little surprised at the mobility that Abraham's produced. Yeah, he's, he's been very mobile. And he boxed very well off the back foot. Out there, Abraham. Head clash. And there's blood above the left ear of Abraham. Look at this from Abraham. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff in the closing stages. His long left hooks has, has had plenty of success. So that goes down as a 10-8 round for Abraham. You've got him a couple of points ahead now as we move into the 10th. Yeah, I think that about right. Listen, Stieglitz has pushed the fight from round one. You've got to give him credit for that. Yeah, a lot of the rounds, a lot of the rounds are close. Damage around the ear of... Uh, the ear of the champion. Not fighting like a champion now, is he? No, he's fighting no. with a bit of a desperation about him. Well, I think he's showing a champion's grit and determination for sure, but the, the skill level that he's had that we've seen in the past. 
is not too evident here tonight. Oh, lovely shot there. That's better. Yeah. Right. Step back. Right. <laughs> Abraham looking across to his corner and saying, yeah, he got through, but I'm all right, I'm all right, don't worry. Abraham keeping that tight defence. Not uh, too happy about Stieglitz boring in with his head. No, he's getting quite often, hasn't he, as well? A really rough fight. A lot of holding and mauling. A lot of fouls. I was quite pleased when I saw Gennaro Rodriguez as the referee for this one because I always suspected it was going to be a bit of a, a bit of a grueling one and not a particularly pretty one. <laughs> Good jab, but a nice little right hand counter there. Short right hand counter from Stieglitz. Sloppy bit of work there from Stieglitz and getting, getting countered then from Abraham. Well, wherever you're watching this one, you'll have your idea as to who's winning it. Good exchange of punches there. Nice little one-two from Abraham, but then Stieger is getting in with his own right hand. Tough, hard fight. And again with Abraham with a nice little uh, left-right counter. When they're old and grey, these two are going to remember each other forever. So last few seconds of the tenth. This right hand from Abraham of heads clash. A good left hook to finish the round there from Stieglitz. But for me, in a, in a very close round, they're just big purses, and and that's that's what's at stake. At stake. Abraham not doing too shabbily on this occasion financially, although he's had much bigger rewards in the past, but he's getting close on $800,000 as the short end of the purse. As I said earlier, Stieglitz getting $2.35 million. <laughs> Good start to the round, though, again from Stieglitz. He always seems to start the faster of the two. Abraham just trying to keep a close, tight defence, which he's yeah. done fairly effectively. That, that right hand does get through from Stieglitz. Just exploded onto that, didn't he? Over the little crowd stance. Stieglitz just standing in front of, when he first he throws his combination, just standing in front of Abraham, just needs to take a little shift to the side. Camera shot from the corner, giving you a real close up idea of what it's or give you a feeling of what it's actually like to be in there this stage of this fight which has had its twists and turns and now Abraham starting to come on strong again here in the 11th shot from Stieglitz this time and the crowd respond to that tremendous one I, I honestly think that when Abraham was turning I think he might just took the sting ever so slightly out of the punch just but as well a, but a really cracking shot yeah Stieglitz is now fighting on real desire trying to get motivated by this terrific support that he's got I think the crowd has worked against him tonight for Stieglitz I think he's been over over eager Smothered some of his work. Oh, oh, forgot his defence. That's the most important part. He's just he pulled forward without the, without the care of what's coming his way. Abraham trying to pick quality shots then in the last minute of this 11th round. Oh, it's a good right hand from Abraham, and then back comes Stieglitz. And just for a moment, Abraham looks as though he's unsteady, but I think just caught off balance as much as anything else. What an exchange! Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Looks tired now, doesn't he, Stieglitz? 
Good combination again from Abraham. Stieglitz going in with the head. Two desperately tired men. Is Stieglitz going to surrender this time? I wouldn't be surprised if it's a split decision, Barry. It's been, either way, it's been a really we've got, good fight. We've got Abraham ahead, but Stieglitz, he's had his moments in every round, and he has fought as the aggressor for much of the fight. He has, he's, he has fought the aggressor. You've got to stand by what you believe, and I just think he's taking too many punches coming forward. He starts the round off fast, and he has in the last few rounds, and then just faltered in the last sort of 30 seconds, and I'm knocked down in the ninth round or that point deduction in the ninth point round deduction, yeah. there might be a big difference yeah how much oh, is that good right hand there from Abraham the referee deserves a medal tonight <laughs> Stieglitz landing the more punches so far in this final round Looking for the clean shot. Abraham just covering up. First minute conclusively to the champion of round yeah. 12. It's going towards script, isn't it? The last few rounds again. Steve is doing all the work in the first half of the, of the round. Oh, good shot, right hand from Stieglitz. Yeah, Abraham didn't ride that shot, did he? He certainly didn't. And Stieglitz is winning this last round. Oh, good. No, I'm that, winning it widely, Barry. That's a, no, that's a champion right there, isn't it? Putting your teeth when, you, when you've got no energy left from throwing a five-six punch combination. It's this sort of desire and willpower of two men, two gladiators that draws people to boxing. When people say, why do you like boxing? Well, this <laughs> is the kind of reason why. Oh, he's unsteady on his oh. feet, Stieglitz. He's almost out. He was caught by that shot from Abraham as he came in the uppercut. And another big right hand from Abraham. Oh. Stieglitz is in real and he's down and out. And that surely has decided this fight. Stieglitz gave everything in the onslaught in the early stages of the 12th. And it's... Is he allowing it to continue? He is. Box on. Stieglitz is absolutely all in here. And Abraham is looking to finish it here in the closing seconds of this 12th round. Stieglitz somehow, somehow gets through to the final bell. What a fight. Oh, right hand, he's already uh, a little bit confused and concussed probably before he got hit with those shots. What a tough, tough fight. It wasn't always a, something of beauty. It was but it was a hard man's fight. It was what you said earlier in the fight, where the war of attrition. And that's really what it was. Just, the, the, just it was just the will to win. But Stieglitz's will to win for me made his tactics a little bit naive. He didn't use his boxing ability. Just tried to use his brute strength, and and on my card came second best. Well, however long they're around, after this, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. They're going to hold each other and embrace when they see each other because they're going to be bonded by this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. That's, that's, this is a bond that, that will never go away. They remember this uh, for, for the, or the ball that fights. These, this trilogy will always be remembered. Well, for, I hope you've enjoyed two. this with us as much as we've enjoyed watching this. It has been a terrific fight. And Abraham, look at that. His career absolutely on the line here tonight. We asked the question, could he roll back the years? Well, didn't he provide the answer? Oh, he really did. And, and a, lot of the, a lot of rounds were close, even the rounds he, no, he was winning. No, even the rounds he won clear were close. Even the last round where he, where he, put, where he put Stieglitz down, was, was, he was getting beat, wasn't he? He was getting right. He was getting turned over a little bit. But that left uppercut there, look at that. Stieglitz again. 
no regards to his defence. Well, and who would have thought beforehand? I mean, this, we, we, we're here assuming that Arthur Abraham has won this fight with this 12th round knockdown. But who beforehand would have thought this is going to go the distance and it's going to be Abraham who's going to be the stronger and the fitter and the faster and the more accurate at landing the bigger shots in the last four rounds? That's what's happened, Barry. It's unbelievable. I never thought, I thought Abraham was going to get outpointed, by massively outpointed. In, in, in not, a, not a great fight, a good fight, but not a great fight. And I thought Steve was going to use his brain and his boxing ability and, and coast his way and easily pick off at Arthur Abraham, who's looked cumbersome and slow in his last few fights. But then he turned back the clock and then some. Well, the big pro Stieglitz crowd is hoping. They're just hoping that somehow the judges have seen it for their favourite and that all those close rounds have gone to Stieglitz and that he had enough of a lead to withstand the pressure in the last few rounds that Arthur Abraham was able to impart eventually with that 12th round knockdown. Three judges, two Americans, one British. He's got the body language of a winner though, hasn't he? King David. I think, I don't, I think it'd be, you feel hard done by, I don't think it's going to be as wide as I have it. I think it'll be closer, closer, score but I honestly think I don't think you could dispute the winner maybe I, I, nah, I think uh, Abraham's won it yeah, Arthur's do. done it King Arthur I should have said Camp David he's got around his uh, around his waist good fight though John really good fight excellent excellent you got it by margin of about uh, yeah I got it by six I got a massive margin I really have. I think I got a, it's a too big a margin, to be honest. It seems it seems ridiculous. So as, as close that fight was, I got it by six points to uh, to Arthur Abraham. And that seems like, that seems like way too wide, but that's how it's going. Well, right, if you've watched that fight tonight with us, good decision. That was uh, one of one of ones for Box Nation fans and for all fight fans to really savour. Here we go. We go to the judges' scorecard, and we have a split decision. Well, well. Judge Michael Pernick scores about 113, 112. Stieglitz. <laughs> Judge Paul Thomas scores about 110, 115. Abraham. Judge Clark Samartino scores about 111, 114 for the new WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World! Well, justice done, Barry. You could see Abraham was fearing the worst. He was fearing the worst when that first judge's card was right.